Wraith is honestly truly something special in Apex Legends, and I have so much fun playing her to the point where I've dropped Octane just for her. So let's get into the video as to why. When I first caught a glimpse of Apex Legends back when it came out in 2019, Wraith was definitely one of the characters that stood out to me as far as her playstyle. A character that incorporated stealth and mobility and trickery and finesse and all of that really resonated. But I didn't really give her much of a chance back then just because A, I didn't really have much interest with Apex when it first came out since I was already invested in other battle royales like PUBG and you know Call of Duty was already out too. But then I really took Apex seriously in Season 8 uh, when Fuse dropped. And by that time, of course, Wraith was still very much in the conversation with regards to her abilities and in the meta. And I really fell in love with her uh, at that moment even more. And it's been quite on and off with her in terms of the relationship because for the longest time I had always used Octane since he too is also a very fun unique character in the way he plays but I kept finding myself coming back to Wraith every single time and I think the reason is because Wraith has a full package she's a character that is unlike any other character in Apex where she almost has every class implemented into her kit and by that i mean for example when she warns her teammates of enemies nearby it's kind of like a built-in recon and then you can use your portal as a way to control offense and defense and then of course being a skirmisher she just has the mobility and means to get away from action or in this case get into action so i feel like her whole entire build her whole entire kit really just encourages you to play in different ways and that added degree of complexity is what makes her so fun to use because there's almost an infinite degree of things you can do and it really just comes down to you the player as to what you're capable of and for that reason alone i think she stands above the rest as far as characters do i think she's the best in the game mm, that's that's subjective but for me personally, I think she's the best in terms of what she can do, not just for herself, but for her team in every respective area. So that being said, let's move on to the second point. One thing I've come to love with Wraith as well is something that I think a lot of players maybe overlook and don't value as much. But map versatility is so impactful in Apex Legends and having a character that can really be consistent across any map and be versatile to me is a sign of a great legend because when you look at the cast of characters you have many that typically will shine in one area but tend to suffer or struggle in another. For example, Caustic is really really strong on maps that are more condensed more buildings are involved same thing with watson but then you put them on an open map like let's say storm point or broken moon where there is a lot more open space you're less likely to take advantage of the situation and you're more prone to being exploited whereas wraith you can put her anywhere storm point broken moon e district world's edge king's canyon and wraith's abilities whether it's a whether it's your rift or whether you're using your into the void to get away from bad situations her whole entire kit just gives her that map versatility that most other legends wish they had and that's honestly to me the sign of a truly strong legend is one that is able to take full advantage of any map regardless of what's going on and i love that about her it's it's almost like the most important part about her outside of her kit of course i think just being able to log into the game and pick a legend knowing that wherever you are you're safe is really cool like that to me brings a lot of like stability in that sense you know what do you folks think are you are you big fans of wraith's kit let me know in the comments section down below but in the end i really do feel like wraith is, is a shining example of 
great design in terms of a character and what that character is capable of not only for offense but defense not only for solo queuing but also for team driven capabilities she's just again like i said before she's the full package so that being said let's move on for the last point I've always been a sucker for technical characters in video games, whether it's Dalsim in Street Fighter or Genji in Overwatch or Hanzo. Wraith speaks to me in the same way, where a character gives me a great sense of freedom in terms of my expression. How I express myself in the game, Wraith exemplifies that so much because the moment i log in i feel as if i'm wraith i'm immersed in that experience and that power fantasy is enabled and that's something you don't really get with many characters in the game now that isn't to discredit any legends it's just that when i play wraith i feel as if that technicality is really consistently evolving over time like we've seen the likes of fade shout outs to fade by the way where his movement is like poetry in motion seamless and the way he utilizes the rift and the void all in tandem to me that's a beautiful thing and once again it goes back to the whole idea of just self-expression and i love a character that can give me that a character with options to me is a character that is solid that is really grounded on the foundation of consistency and wraith really really shines in that area and i love her for that She's a wonderful character from top to bottom, uh, and I really wish that they just continue to refine her over time and just make her that much cooler. But again, what do you folks think? Let me know in the comments section. As always, New Warriors, you know what it is. Stay strong, keep fighting, and may the Force be with you all, always. Alrighty, see you on the next video. Take care. Peace.